there is a way to make $10,000 per month with zero startup cost. And I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how to do that. <laughs> If you're completely broke or you just want to make extra money on the side in passive income, this video is for you. You see, starting print on demand on Etsy store is actually not that difficult. People think that today all you have to do is if you want to start any products based business, you have to order those products to your house and do everything yourself. It's no longer true. This was true maybe back in 2005, 2006. Today, all you have to do is just to find a partner who's going to do rest for you in terms of printing, in terms of shipping, in terms of packaging, everything else, there is just companies and websites which actually does this for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Etsy store, how to research your niche, where to get your partner to print and ship it for you, research your competition, and also I'm gonna show you how I personally open my own store and see where this is go. So first of all, let's just jump on Etsy store and let's see how much you can potentially earn. So if I type in here, funny t-shirts, what's gonna come up here? It's so many t-shirts, right? But let's just click on this one and you can see this bio, this is in Thai, but so please ignore that. I'm in Thailand, in Chiang Mai right now. So everything comes up in Thai, but convert this to US dollars. So this is probably around 25 bucks. You can see that there's a 94,568 sales. Now this is not only for this t-shirt, this is obviously for the whole store. If we just calculate this, let's just say this is probably like 25 bucks, $25 multiplied by 94,568 that's 2.3 million dollars in revenue which is absolutely crazy considering this is just some stupid t-shirts maybe some socks maybe some hoodies phone cases this is how much you can earn potentially from Etsy store so let's just dive in exactly how we're gonna get started so first of all we're gonna open brand new gmail account just for the Etsy store because we don't want to get complicated and we don't want to get mixed up with other emails this is very simple I'm sure everyone knows how to do gmail now once you have your gmail account What are you gonna do next? You're gonna go on a website called Namelix. This website will generate for you some sort of brand name. T-shirts, fashion, max, socks, arts. Now I'm gonna generate that. I'm gonna click on auto, next. Uh, hi, random ideas. You can put some business description, but I'm not gonna put that. I'm just gonna click generate. You can see GT, this actually sounds pretty good. Top slice. That sounds pretty good. Steasley sounds like an easy. I'm gonna select, for example, EIT. You can download this or you can just take a screenshot of this and you can edit it by yourself in Canva. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go on Etsy and I'm gonna click get started, fill up my information and sign up for Etsy. What we need to do next is we need to find a niche what we're gonna be selling to because if you don't know what you're gonna be selling into, it's gonna be very difficult and it's gonna be like a throwing a rock into massive ocean. There is a few things you want to do. We can look at Etsy and see what sells the most. For me personally, I'm going to do t-shirts, Macs, phone cases and etc. Because I believe those stuff sells the most. You can do so many different things on Etsy. But from my experience and from what I observe, people go to Etsy to buy either t-shirts or some custom phone cases. If you're into jewelry, you can obviously sell jewelry, but you have to make, make them by yourself. Also graphic designs, you can do that as well. If you look at graphic designs, People want to maybe hire a graphic designer to do business cards, maybe do signature logo. Maybe they want to do something like uh, animal posters. If you click on this one, printable baby animal prints, you can send a picture of your pet to the store. They will print it for you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on uh, t-shirts because I believe that's the high demand product. Now, how we can create a t-shirts for us. So there's a two options. One option is difficult. Second option is less difficult. So the first option is to basically go on Canva. You can see I just create this one very quickly. It says Eat Sleep Chat GPT because I found that this Chat GPT is actually in trending. So you can just go on Canva, go on Elements, select any of these and they are basically free to use. Or you can just do go on text and just select something, edit it, whatever you want to. This is very easy. And then what you want to do after that, you want to do share. You want to do download, select transparent, PNG, download that. And once you have the design, you can upload it on Etsy. The next way how to do that is to do it on Fiverr. So if I go on Fiverr, if you don't know Fiverr, it's basically a website full of freelancers. They're going to design for you anything you want. So let's just, I'm going to type it t-shirts, 
designs this way it's of course much more faster and simpler the problem is you might get into a legal trouble so you want to check with the seller that this is original designs this guy selling for 200 dollars 50 t-shirt designs actually his these designs are actually not too bad if i look at that they're actually pretty pretty cool so you can you can do something like this i might use this service maybe not basic offers you 10 t-shirts standard offer you 30 t-shirts premium offers you 50 t-shirts but what i like mainly is to create your own designs such as like text they are actually very popular so let's have a look on this one tech t-shirts a lot of people also do like a custom you can just do something like this basically just says custom your t-shirt single color designs and basically people send this store just send them their text or whatever they want another way also to do it you can go on websites such as and splash type it let's say cities for example pictures like this one and you can download this one this is free to use copyrights free now how do you know which design is going to sell well well you don't really know what's going to sell well because there's not really any tool which is specifically researching on etsy what it sells well and what it doesn't sell well and it's not like a kindle what i'm doing with kill publishing where you have a tool so on etsy what you can do is just basically you go on a home page anything typing let's just say t-shirts and it's gonna come up with all sorts of different t-shirts so you can get the gist of it what's actually could be selling well so for example this one four battery t-shirt what you can also do is just to go on etsy and just type in t-shirts something come up to your mind and just type in t-shirts robots what do you want to do in etsy is to have a high demand but not enough products to sell so low searches but a lot of sales so if i type in t-shirts robots you can see there is a there's a 4,000 results with ads, which is not too bad. Let's just type in AI robots t-shirts and that's only come up to 88 results. You can see, for example, this seller selling these t-shirts for 700, 783 baht, which is around $20, got 617 sales. The options are endless. What you really want to do is create as many designs as possible. Try what works and what's not working. Whatever works, it works. Just stick to that and get rid of, get rid of the rest because there's not really any special tool. It's really just a trial and error. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna aim for around 200 designs in about six months and see whatever sticks. If something sticks, I'll stick to that. So I'm gonna show you now how I'm gonna post my first designs. I'll download this this funny picture of a sausage jerk by the way I grab it sausage jerk that's pretty funny and I'm just gonna insert something uh, some title quickly here and I'm just gonna say funny funny dog and something like this obviously this is not the designs you want you want to put some thoughts into that and you're gonna select download transparent background PNG what do you want to do next is to go on printify or you can go on Printify or you can find other other websites which, which you can connect with the store of Etsy. Now, this is the trick where you don't have to stock up your stuff at your house. So Printify is, a, is a basically a website where you can select your product. They have t-shirts, they have phone cases in catalog. You can see men's t-shirts, women's clothing, kids, accessories. So there's so much you can do and connect with Etsy. Anything you can, you can just imagine. So I'm gonna do t-shirts. And then when you, once you sign up for Printify, you just go here, this is my shop here, but you just add new store and it will connect you with your Etsy store. So you sign up with the same email as with Etsy. Now, once you connect that, you're gonna go here, you're gonna select the t-shirt. I usually select this one because this is the cheapest and good quality. And then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna select the company which is gonna print it for you. So I'm gonna select Monster Digital. I'm gonna select Start Designing. And then I'm going to grab my designs which I designed like a few minutes ago. I'm gonna put it here. And boom, as you can see, it's on my t-shirt. Now I'm, I can select this one, so it's full picture. This is basically could be your design, right? This is nothing special, but if I'm a crazy dog lover and I just like dogs, I'll, this is what I will do. And once you have that, you can select your, your t-shirt colors, which you wanna have the offer to the customers. So I'm just gonna select a few of those, save product. And once that is safe, you can also select what's gonna be displayed first. So you can select this one, or you can select this person. I usually select just this one. You're gonna select how much you wanna sell this for. So I usually go for around $25. Uh, so I just select $25 on all of those. I'm gonna select this one, best for SEO optimization, automatically assign you shipping, and I'm gonna click publish. 
Once I click publish, this is going to basically appear in my Etsy store. So guys, there you have it. That's how simple this is. There is no complication in this. You can start this with zero dollars. All you require is to acquire hard work, focus and some patience. So if you want to make some money online, this is a great way to do it. This is the way you can change your future. If you're sick and tired of your job and listening to your boss, this might be a great way to start as a side hustle. If you'd like to know how to publish your first book on Kindle on Amazon, click the link below and I'll see you there. If you have any comments, any, any suggestion, anything like that, comment down below. Until next time, guys, see ya.